Okay, so I've given you my least favorite items to work with in permanent makeup, so it's only fair I switch things around and tell you the things I can't live without. These are all things that have made my life easier performing permanent makeup. And some of them, honestly, I couldn't do my job without. Hi, I'm Katie Schofield and I help permanent makeup artists like you gain confidence in your work. If you want to post your work in an entirely supportive environment, then join my free Facebook group, Permanent Excellence, and we can chat there or say hi on Instagram. All the links are below. It really helps my channel grow and reach and help more people if you subscribe and like these videos. So don't forget, do it now. Here we go, number one, my magnifiers. I really recommend not straining your eyes while you're working. You need to be able to see the needle in the skin at all times. So these, or having some custom made loops, or at least just good reading glasses will help. You can get these easily on Amazon. When I'm doing lips, I wanna see exactly where the lip tissue ends. So magnification is really important. Number two, my old faithful Sharpie pencils for mapping. It's so hard to find pencils that don't break or that aren't too soft. The harder the pencil, the crisper and cleaner your lines are. And I cover sharpening these and also how to get the best use of them in my new five minute mapping course that's out this week. And again, the link is in the description. Thirdly, it's my Allure machine. I have about eight machines, but this is the one I use day in, day out. It's light and the weight is in the center, so it's well balanced, but it's also powerful. It's great for ombre, hair strokes, as well as lips and liner. And it's what I give to all my beginners in their kits. I'll put a link to Deluxe Brows in the description below. Fourthly, you need to invest in a good setup. We spend hours a day doing this, so you need to invest in comfortable furniture. I really, really recommend a saddle stool as it forces your spine straight. Find a stool that's gonna assist your posture. If your back goes, then your business goes. If you want a long career, then you're gonna to have to look after yourself physically. Last but not least, I love Hustle Butter. I use this to calm the skin when I'm doing lips and I also give it to clients as their aftercare. Actually, my clients noticed their brows were healing quicker with it and my own lips were healed in just three days. It also smells utterly divine and so many clients buy some of their own afterwards just for the smell. It's a really great healing balm and so nice to work with. So if you want to moisturize the skin while working, hustle butter. So that's five of my favorite things, including a machine. And if you want more information on machine speed and how fast your PMU machine should be, then I made this video here. I hope all this helped. Let me know your favorite things in the comments and I'll see you soon.